Stem and Leaf Plots, Part 1. In a stem and leaf plot, the data are ordered from least to greatest and are organized by place value. You can use stem and leaf plots to organize large data sets so that they are easier to interpret. We're going to focus on writing stem and leaf plots first. So let's look at problem one. It says represent the data from the table in a stem and leaf plot. Step one is to draw a vertical line and write the tens digits from least to greatest on the left side of this line. These digits form the stems. So if we look over here, we've drawn our vertical line and on the left side we have the stems. Now, there's only a zero and one here, we have to include the other ones. When we look at the table, we see that the least value is two and the greatest value is 45. So that means that the stems are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go ahead and do that, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Step 2 is to write the 1's digits in order on the right side of the line with the corresponding stem. The 1's digits form the leaves. Each leaf represents one data value, so repeating values are each represented. So let's go through our list of numbers. We already included the two, okay, so we have two, the tens digit for two is zero. So two is already in our list, we can cross that off. Three is in our list right there, so we can cross it off. Five is the next greatest, we can cross it off and seven is the next greatest right there, so we can go ahead and cross that off. Now let's look at the digits that have a one in the tens place. So I see right here there's a 10, so we have one on the left is our stem, and zero on the right is the leaf. Okay, the next number is 12, which is right here, and so we're going to put a two as a leaf on the stem for one in the tens digits. Then we have 14, so that's why there's a 4 there. And then we have 17, so that's why there is a 7 on that stem. So I don't see any more numbers in the table that start with 1. Now we're going to look for numbers that start with 2. These are numbers um, whose tens value is 2. So the lowest one I see is 20. So on the right side of our vertical line, Next to the 2, we're going to put a 0. Okay, and now I see a 21 right here, so we're going to put a 1. And I see another 21 right there, so we're going to put another 1. So there's two 21s, and they both need to be represented. Alrighty. Oh, and I see another 21. So we're going to have to put that there as well. Now let's look for the next greatest number that starts with 2. That's 24, so we're going to write a 4 here. And then I see a 25, so we'll have a 5. This is a long one. And then I see 27 here, so we need to put a 7. And I see another 27 there, so we put another 7. And as I look, I don't see any more numbers in the data table that start with 2, so we can move on to 3s. Numbers that start with 3. And so now we're going to move on to the three stem, and we're going to write all the ones digits as the leaves. So the smallest number that starts with three is 31. So I'll put it here. We have 32. Then I see a 33 and a 35. And then, of course, the last digit I see is 45. So on the left, we have the four as our stem. And on the right, we're going to have a 5 as our leaf. And we have finished the stem and leaf plot. So the last step in writing a stem and leaf plot is to include a key that explains the stems and the leaves. So here we have the first part of the key. We have the stem is a 2 and the leaf is a 7. So we need to say that this represents 27. 27 what? 27 messages. So let's try this one. Represent the data from the table in a stem and leaf plot. 
So this is calcium per serving in selected vegetables, and it's measured in milligrams. And we're just given a list. So we're going to go ahead and write stem and leaf. And then we'll label our table or our data plot. And we're going to label it calcium per serving. And then in parentheses, we'll put milligrams. Okay, so now let's look at the numbers in our data set. As I'm looking at the numbers, I notice that the smallest number I see at the front in the tens place is a one. So the first stem we're going to put is a one. And now we can look through the list and find all of the numbers that begin with one and write them, uh, write the ones digits as leaves. So let's go ahead and do that. So the smallest one I see is 10. So I'm going to cross that off the original list and then I'm going to put a zero for my leaf. Okay, the next number that I see that starts with a one is 14. So I'm going to put a four for my leaf to the right of the one. And then I see another 14 here, so we're going to have to put another 4. And then the next number that starts with a 1 is 19. So I put a 9 as a leaf. And as I look, I don't see any more that start with a 1, so now we can move on to the next stem. Do we see any that start with 2? Yes, I see one number that starts with 2, 27. So we'll have the stem is 2 and the leaf will be seven, and I don't see any more that start with two. So now we'll move on to the threes. The three in the tens place is going to be our stem, so every number that starts with three is going to be listed here. So what I want you to do is pause the video and make a list of your leaves on the right in order from least to greatest. So go ahead and do that and then press play to check. Alrighty, so I have my leaves as 2, 3, 4, 8, and 8, because we had 32, 33, 34, 38, and another 38 in our data set. Alright, the next tens digit that I see is 4 for 40, so we need to list all the leaves that belong with the stem 4. So go ahead and pause to do that and then press play to check. The leaves that I got for my four stem were zero and eight. So now I would like for you to go ahead and finish the stem and leaf plot on your own and then press play to check. Alrighty, so the last thing that we need to do is write a key that explains our stems and leaves. And so why don't we go ahead and just use um, any one of the ones that just have one leaf. I'm going to choose the stem 2 and the leaf 7. So I'm going to put 2 and then a line and then 7. And I'm going to say that this means 27 milligrams of calcium.